Can you kind of, I guess, explain what Nectar is and, and why it's different from other types of finance and kind of break it down? Yeah, of course, of course. So at Nectar, we provide cash flow based financing to stabilize cash flowing assets. Uh, th- these are, and we are, so it's, sim- it's very similar to a loan. We'll give you in advance on one to five years worth of cash flow um, where you can, uh, you know, where you can pay equal monthly payments out of cash flow is self amortizing, which means there's no lump sum payment at the end. You have no refinance risk. If interest rates go up and you can't refinance out of it, it doesn't matter. We go away. We're just a, a, a percentage of your cash flow, not a percentage, a set amount every mm-hmm. month for one to five years. Um, and, you know, we take, you know, we, we'll give you a lump sum up front. Typically, we can get to one to one and a half times your annual cash flow up front. Uh, and you can pay us out of your cash flow. Um, you can, people use us for down payments, for capital expenditures, furnishing renovations, buy other management companies. Um, people have used us to, you know, buy a boat when they had a, a, a property that was on the water and the, you know, the boat really, they went to rent, rent the boat out. So you can use this really, fle- we're really flexible. And that that's, that's our, that's our thing. We want to be fast. We want to be flexible. You want to fit into like your own business goals. That makes Got sense. it. Yeah, absolutely. So one to one and a half times cash flow. So just to break it down, what that means. Um, so, so if you've got a property and it's bringing in $80,000 a year gross, and so you're saying all the expenses, say all the expenses are $40,000. So it's got like a 50% expense ratio. Um, so you're, you, you'd be able to get up front 40000 to $60,000 of cash flow or I'm sorry, of a lump sum payment up front that you could then pay back over the next one to five years. Exactly. Exactly. And we work with the, we'll, we'll use, um, we can look at management fee income. Uh, we can look at like uh, portfolios. So a lot of what we do now is actually, you know, multiple properties. Um, and we typically can get a deal done in six to 10 days. Oh, okay. Wow. Six to 10. That's, that's, Pretty awesome. Um, well, and, and since the performance of the asset is really what your success hinges on or getting paid back hinges on, um, how do you run the numbers up front to know that? Like if I'm buying a property and I tell you, yeah, it's going to cash flow 40,000, you know, it's just kind of my guess, maybe. Um, how, how do you know for sure in that six day period that you're, you're, that that's what it's actually going to do? So that's, and that's a crucial, that's a great question. So we're looking at existing performing properties. Uh, we're looking at properties that are that are currently cash flowing. And we oh, look got at, it. Okay. So in order for us to get you a quote, first thing you do, you come to our website. And the first thing we ask for is a T12. That's a trailing 12-month profit and loss statement. Uh, so we can see all the income that you've gotten over the past 12 months, all the expenses, what your debt service is, how much cash flow are you really making? Uh, and we can and we take that. It can give you a quote pretty much same day or next day, depending on how swamp we are. Uh, of like this is how much money we think we can get you, and then we we you, you, you it has to be an LLC, it has to be in a business bank account, and we link it to your bank account or see your bank statements to verify that the PNL. So like you know we we you know PNLs are you know they're Excel spreadsheet or whatever, but. Yeah. Uh, but we you know go start directly to your bank account just so we can confirm the P- that the PNL is accurate, uh, and that's and that's our you know our underwriting process. Then you know we get mortgage statements and you know things just to confirm and make sure that you know that things make sense. Uh, and, and yeah, and that's that's that. Got it. Okay. Um, so so if somebody's looking to purchase a property, this you you don't work with anyone who's purchasing a property. Uh, just re- like if they need cash after they've performed for twelve months. So we do work with people purchasing property. We work with okay. people purchasing, purchasing properties. However, um, we're the cash flow that we're underwriting is either the cash flow in a person's existing portfolio, or if they're buying a prop. So, like the first case is you have five properties. We'll look at the cash flow on those properties, give you an advance there, and you can use that advance as a down payment to buy a new property. Mm. Or you're buying a property that has cash flow existing, so it's already operating, and then we can underwrite that property 
and then we can give you an advance to to buy that property. We're we're not really great for for like buying your first property. Uh, that's kind of this this there's not there's not so the model. As a matter of fact, uh, like because of because even because of like how we finance ourselves, uh, we require three years of experience. Mm-hmm. Um, or, or like operating a, a cash flow portfolio and able to be able to give you an advance. Um, you know, because what we've learned in the business is there's so much you learn in that first year, just doing it. You, you learn like a tremendous amount. Uh, and then usually that second year, you're putting in systems um, based on the things that you learned in the first year. Uh, so by that third year, people are usually there. They have a business. They you know, kind of know what they're doing and they have something that's repeatable. And in, in a uh, a disproportionate amount of people actually stop in that first one to two years. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's the big risk for us. You know, we're giving you money. We don't operate the property. And we work in 19 states currently. Uh, we can't just jump into any states if somebody says, uh, uh, you know, this is harder than I thought. Uh, so, like, it, it, you know, to mitigate that, uh, that risk, we work with people who've gotten past that hump. Um, and we're, we're, we're the there's the biggest risk of drop off because ultimately it is, it's work <laughs> yeah. running a short-term rental portfolio. Yeah. That's so that's interesting. Cause that, that's, that was kind of where I was, what I was wondering. Cause like, you know, I, you can look at, um, you know, the, the owner of the, the property really can dictate a lot around cash flow. you know, when it comes to, um, the amenities they choose, the, how clean the place is, um, you know, their, even their listing, like what, what they put in their listing. So all these details, they make a huge difference. And then at the end of the day, like the same property that was, you know, previously performing for somebody else might perform totally different for that, that new owner. So that that's, I guess that's how you curtail that. How, how involved are you in the operations once you provide the capital? Do you consult with the person or check in or do you, is it just kind of hands off? We're pretty hands off. So okay. we have a, um, so we like, we, in, we link directly to your bank accounts so we can like just track performance um, and require like uh, P and L. So, so we require that you keep track of your profit and loss and that you report um, outside of that. We're pretty hands off unless you ask for help. Uh, 80% of our customers though, have, have, uh, have come back for some additional financing and we've provided financing to almost 60% of our existing customers like follow on financing. So Mm. rarely, you know, we, we will provide operational support where, um, you know, when we're asked, um, and, and because we have a team that has a tremendous amount of experience, uh, but most of the people that we're working with, they they know a good bit about their portfolio and the most value add that we were able to provide uh, is capital. Um, and so we have partners on the mortgage side if you need a mortgage, um, you know, and we provide our own capital if you need something faster and more flexible and you know something that's more equity like. Um, and we're and we can. For our existing customers, we're typically able to turn around in 24 to 48 hours any kind of request for additional capital. Uh, we even had a customer last month that came in on a Thursday and needed a million dollars by Friday. We were able to turn it around. Uh, so we actually, it, it turned out he only really needed 580,000, but we got it. We got it done. <laughs> um, and so, so like we're um, that's that's our biggest kind of uh, the value add that's say. wow what what scenario i mean so you said typically it's one to one and a half the cash flow per year so how, did they really have a property that was cash flowing a million dollars or five hundred eighty thousand even uh, they had 157 properties oh, okay got it okay yeah. so they just needed cash uh infusion quickly to maybe do a deal or or something that i i see required it quickly interesting yeah. Wow. Yep. So you can so you can lend across a port or you can borrow across a portfolio. Exactly. Oh, okay. that's, the majority, that's the majority of what we do actually is you know, we're we'll look at someone who has five properties or three properties or 10 properties or 50 properties. Um, and we'll like lend across the portfolio. We'll do individual properties as well. Um, you know, it's just that you really can get more money, frankly, <laughs> uh, you know, more properties. And we also work with management companies. Some of the management companies have, um, you know, anywhere from five or 10 to 1500. 
Yeah. And if they're owned in different LLCs, does that matter? Because a lot of people buy you know, one property per LLC. Yeah. And that's perfectly fine. So we see all kinds of structures. And actually, the way it'll work is you'll come to our site, you know, you get an initial application. We, we might ask for an org chart just because people structure things all, all kinds of different ways. They mm-hmm. might have all the properties in one entity. They might have all the properties in separate entities. Uh, some people have all the properties in separate entities, but all of the money goes to one bank account. That's one entity. And then they, that pays all the expenses. So you have all kinds of different structures and we can work with, again, we can be pretty flexible around how you structure things. So if you have 10 different properties, 10 different entities, we'll do 10 different advances. They can all close at once. Uh, so it's one underwrite, uh, but we have to be attached to the LLC. We do not attach to the property. We don't have a lien on the property. Uh, we don't have, um, you know, we, you know we, we're, we're, we're attached to the LLC or the entity that owns the property. Got it. Yeah. That, well, that's what I was going to ask is like, so if, if you're not, if you're not recording like a mortgage on the property, like a typical bank would, what, like that guy who got $580,000, what if he liquidated his portfolio tomorrow? Um, how, how does, how, how do you secure your position to get paid back? Yes. Yeah, so there, we have two products ultimately. One is a cash advance and one is pr- like what we call it pref equity. Uh, so the cash advance, we have a lien on the property owning entity, a lien on the LLC. So if you sell your properties, then the cash goes to the LLC uh, and we have a lien on that LLC. Uh, and then you sign a personal guarantee. Got it. So also, if you sell the property and then before we can enforce the lien on the LLC, you take the money out, uh, then we can then like... The, that's how we have a lien of the, you know, we have a, um, a personal guarantee just to make sure that people perform, you know, actually do the yeah. things that they're going to do. Um, the pref equity product does not have a personal guarantee, but we have a membership interest in the co- in the company that owns the property, the LLC that owns the property. Mm. And as you make your payments, you buy our interest out. So once you make wow. your last payment, we're completely bought out. You go our separate ways. So it works the same way economically. You pay the same equal monthly payments, but when you make your payments, you're buying us out so that we can, so that ultimately when you make your last payment, we're gone. Um, and, and, and there's no, and with that, you don't have to sign a guarantee because we have ownership in the, in the underlying property. 